Hello, I'm Congressman Gary Palmer, representing Alabama's 6th District in the heart of Alabama the Beautiful. In the next few minutes, I will share with you a little glimpse into what makes this area so special. Alabama's 6th Congressional District encompasses six counties, stretching from the Appalachian foothills rolling through Blount County, to the Cuyahoga River Basin flowing through Bibb, to the suburbs of Jefferson and Shelby Counties, to the peach orchards of Chilton and Coosa. Welcome to Alabama the Beautiful. Coosa County was named after the Coosa River. While there are various interpretations, the word Coosa is believed to be from the Alabama Cushata Indian dialect, meaning cane break or reed break. The Alabama tribe inhabited much of the area between the Coosa and Tallapoosa rivers until they were assimilated into the Creeks Confederacy as a Muskegon branch. Archaeological evidence indicates the presence of numerous primitive Native American villages along the rivers and creeks. The first Europeans to pass through Coosa County were De Soto and his Spanish explorers who passed through in 1540. Coosa County was created by an act of the Alabama State Legislature on December 18, 1832. The county was one of 14 counties organized from land ceded by the Creek Indians in the 1832 Treaty of Casita. A site on Hatchet Creek, originally named Pondalassa, was chosen as the county seat and given the name Lexington. In 1835, the name was changed to Rockford and it remains the county seat today. Towns such as Rockford, Kellerton, and Goodwater started out as timber industry towns, utilizing the Central of Georgia railroad lines that traversed the southeast. The railroad from Goodwater to Birmingham was completed in 1888. Today, manufacturing and agriculture still make up the majority of Coosa County's economic activity. Rockford Market Day is held on the first Friday, April through October, and the Weagufka Mule Day is celebrated on the last Saturday in April. Festival goers from all over the region can buy local produce and baked goods along with crafts and antiques. In addition, you pick farms, pumpkin patches, nature preserves, and hunting clubs attract visitors from all over the state. Remnants of Coosa County's rich history have been preserved in a museum located in the historic Rockford Jail, which opened in 1842 and is the oldest original structured jail in Alabama. Memorials to everything from war veterans to beloved hometown dogs decorate each jail cell and hold a collective memory for locals. Around the corner is Coosa County Courthouse, which was built the same year. A fire broke out in the courthouse and burned it to the ground in 1925. Fortunately, county records were sealed in vaults and were spared from the flames. Churches and cemeteries from the late 1800s are located throughout the county and continued to link the remaining descendants of the county's founding families and other local families with their heritage. The Coosa River has long played an important part in the history of the county. In 1914, the Alabama Power Company constructed Lay Dam on the river as a means of generating electricity, thus creating Lay Lake in the northwestern corner of the county. In 1920, Alabama Power built another dam, Mitchell Dam, creating Mitchell Lake and additional hydroelectric power in the southwest corner of the county. Finally, in 1926, they constructed Thomas W. Martin Dam on the Tallapoosa River, creating Lake Mart, a portion of which lies in the southeastern corner of the county. By the time it was created, Lake Martin was the largest man-made body of water in the world. With the river on the western side of the county, Hatchet Creek in the interior, and access to three large lakes, Coosa County has been called the land between the lakes and has great appeal to water sports enthusiasts, fishermen, and lakeside vacationers. Hundreds of miles of hiking trails crisscross through the scenic hill country around Rockford. More trails are being developed annually, like the Penhody National Recreational Trail, to connect with the Appalachian Trail. Through hikers can spend a night in the renovated rustic cabins on Flag Mountain which were constructed in the 1930s by the Civilian Conservation Corps. They can also access the Piedmont Plateau Birding Trail as well as the Hiker Hostel. The new blue trails on the local creeks and rivers are growing in popularity. The Alabama Scenic River Trail stretches 631 miles from the northern boundary of the state to the Gulf of Mexico, carrying hikers down Coosa's Whitewater Rapids under historical bridges and alongside diverse wildlife. 
driving US Highway 280 between Birmingham and Auburn, or US Highway 231 between Montgomery and Sylacauga, you will be surrounded by hardwood and pine forest, pass over the rolling waters and rugged beauty of Hatchet Creek, enjoy the blossoms of wild rhododendrons and azaleas, and pass friendly locals in their peaceful rustic hometowns. Whether you are drawn by the woods and water, its abundant wildlife, or local festivals, you are bound to be refreshed by the natural beauty and peacefulness of Coosa County in the heart of Alabama the Beautiful. Thank you for joining me on this tour of Alabama 6th Congressional District. I hope you'll make a point to stop by and meet the wonderful people who will show you the true meaning of Southern hospitality.